your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. And good morning. It's a colder start this morning than where we started our Sunday morning. Temperatures in the past 24 hours have, as you can see, dropped about 15 degrees, meaning the feel to the air is a little different this morning than it was yesterday. Uh, temperatures right now are pretty much below freezing. We see 32 down in Washington, but elsewhere we're looking at a lot of 20s out there where skies have cleared. We are seeing some low 20s to the north, some mid 20s across the middle part of the Wabash Valley. So it is a colder morning out there as you prepare to head out the door. Now winds right now are light, calm to very light winds. And so as a result, can't rule out a little patchy fog in a few spots this morning, but it's not likely. There's enough of a wind and clouds have been at least around through part of the time. Now these winds, they're going to start to pick up speed and they're going to be changing again. Those southerly winds could be gusting up to 30, 35 miles per hour as we go through the night and into the day tomorrow. We are going to continue with breezy conditions right on through the middle part of the week. This morning, as we said, we've seen generally clear skies out there. We're starting to see a few clouds filter in back off to the west of us now, but no precipitation, and we're not going to worry about that today. Our first chances of any precip come in tomorrow. And you can see that on Futurecast here. There is a little disagreement on tomorrow's chances. We're going to show you the model that says, hey, we might have a few spotty showers around on Tuesday. I don't think it's a big chance but it's a slight chance. I do think clouds will be more plentiful during the day tomorrow. And then we're really going to increase chances as we get into Wednesday. We've got an area of low pressure that's going to be tracking toward this area and through this area. And I think especially later Wednesday and into Thursday, that precipitation becomes more likely. Take note, I know you just saw that little snow mixing in. I think as we get Friday, we're going to see a transition to some colder air. There could be a little snow mixing in Friday. It's not a big deal, but nonetheless, it's showing you what's happening with temperatures because they are going to start to get a little colder for at least about a 24 to 36 hour period again. So we're okay now today above normal. We're going to stay above normal right on through the middle of the week, even as that low tracks through there, you see what happens. But here we are on Friday and what you see again is another colder shot of air set to come in to end the week and start the weekend. This is colder air, but it's not bitter cold air. Temperatures as a whole will continue to average above normal. And as you can see, we go right back to a warmer pattern once again as we get into the start of next Next week. So today, a dry day, though clouds will increase some out there. At least temperatures not bad. We should get up close to 50 today, if not slightly into the low 50s for a few areas. It is going to be breezy, though, and that wind continues tonight, too. Temperatures won't fall much tonight as we see cloudy skies and the low still in the 40s. Tomorrow will be in the low 50s. A few showers possible Tuesday, not likely, but possible. Rain is likely for Wednesday ending Thursday with still a chance of a little light precip that could be a rain snow mix Friday as temperatures begin to turn colder. There's that dip on Saturday with temperatures back into the 40s by Sunday. All right. Thank you so much.